Hello YouTube. So this is my 2017 Honda CRV. It's the Touring Edition, so it has the 1.5 liter turbo and has about 20,000 miles on it. I was reading on the internet the other day, or I guess a couple weeks ago, about an oil dilution issue with this 1.5 liter turbo. And apparently they use this turbo on the majority of the CRVs unless you get the lowest trim model. And also most of the Civics and I think even the Accord has a 1.5 liter turbo. <clears throat> and so apparently there's an issue with what they call oil dilution. And basically because of the design of this engine but also for the fact it's a uh, gasoline direct injection engine, the gas is not getting completely burned off in the chamber. And so that unburned fuel is making its way into the crankcase. And what that does is it um, raises the level of your crankcase, the, fuel, the fluid level, and you have gasoline uh, in your oil crankcase, which is never good. So, and I'll show you here, this is the second oil change I've gone through. I know this may be kind of hard to tell. And I'll wipe it clean here and we'll start from scratch. And I can smell the gas. I mean, there's a very distinct gasoline smell. So you can see it's clean there. It'd be kind of hard to tell. Let's see if I can get a better handle on it here. But can you see it's kind of shiny all the way to the top of the orange marker? And that second black marker at the top is the fill line. So it's about, about a quarter inch above the fill. So the first oil change was done by the dealership. And so after I heard about this problem, I went and checked the oil and it was high and smelled a little bit like gasoline. So I called, I called the dealership and asked them about it. And they said, well, we don't have an oil dilution issue in Colorado because of the elevation. And I thought that was a little bit skeptical. I'm not sure why that would make any difference. But uh, I thought, well, maybe they just filled it too much. And so I changed the oil myself and I made sure the yeah, uh, oil level was just just a tack under the fill line because I wanted to make sure I didn't go above the fill line. And so since then I've driven it about a thousand miles. And so what you saw here was uh, what I have so far. So a thousand miles and already it's about a quarter inch above the the fill line. So I called Honda America. I decided to bypass the dealership altogether. And they said the altitude has nothing to do with it. And they've got an appointment set up with me in a couple of days. They're going to do the fix, quote unquote, which according to the internet, basically they change your oil and they update the software. And I guess it, your engine's going to get hotter quicker. So apparently the oil dilution comes from lower temperatures and the engine not getting hot enough to burn off the fuel. And it has been rather cold here in Colorado this winter, so I guess it kind of makes sense. But anyway, I just wanted to make this video, let you know in case you're thinking about buying a 17 or, or newer CRV or a Civic or even some of the Accords. This is something you need to be uh, cognizant of. And I will make a follow-up video after I've had the fix, and I'll give it a little bit of time. Maybe I'll go another 1,000 or 1,500 miles and see if that has uh, made a difference. I, I hope so. I um, actually really enjoy this car otherwise. Getting great gas mileage, it drives great, it's got a lot of space. But you know the reason I, I bought it new because I figured I'd be keeping this till the wheels fell off, but this oil dilution issue has got me a little concerned. Anyway, I will post a video once I've got that update and uh, let you know what happened. 